Chemistry, the Central Science by Theodore Brown. Chapter 1, Introduction, Matter and Measurement. Have you ever wondered why ice melts and water evaporates? Why do leaves turn colors in the fall, and how does a battery generate electricity? Why does keeping foods cold slow their spoilage, and how do our bodies use food to maintain life? Chemistry answers these questions, and countless others like them. Chemistry is the study of materials and the changes that materials undergo. One of the joys of learning chemistry is seeing how chemical principles operate in all aspects of our lives, from everyday activities like lighting a match, to more far-reaching matters like the development of drugs to cure cancer. Chemical principles also operate in the far reaches of the galaxy. As first chapter lays a foundation for our study of chemistry, providing an overview of what chemistry is and about dealing with some fundamental concepts of matter and scientific me measurements. The list above, entitled What's Ahead, gives a brief overview of the organization of this chapter and some ideas that we'll consider. As you ke study, keep in mind that the chemical facts and concepts you're asked to learn are not ends in themselves, they are tools to help you better understand the world around you. Section 1, The Study of Chemistry. We begin by providing a brief perspective of what chemistry is about and why it's useful to learn chemistry. Section 1.2, Classifications of Matter. Next, we examine some fundamental ways to classify materials, distinguishing between pure substances and mixtures, and noting that there are two fundamentally different kinds of pure substances, elements and compounds. Section 1.3, Properties of Matter. We then consider some of the different kinds of characteristics or properties that we use to characterize, identify, and separate substances. Section 1.4, Units of Measurement. We observe that many properties rely on quantitative measurements involving both numbers and units. The units of measurement used throughout the sciences are those of the metric system, a decimal system of measurement. Section 1.5, Uncertainty in Measurement. We also observe that the uncertainties inherent in all measured quantities are expressed by the number of significant figures used to report the number. Significant figures are also used to express the uncertainties associated with calculations involving measured quantities. Section 1.6, Dimensional Analyses. We recognize that units are, as well as numbers are carried through calculations and that obtaining correct units for the result of the calculation is an important way to check whether the calculation is correct. 